Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do a review for the Koa Robot suitcase. So this suitcase is bought from Indiegogo and it was claimed that the suitcase will automatically follow you whenever you go. And recently I brought it with me on my 8 days trips. It turns out to be working well-ish. This project was initially started in 2016 and it claimed to be the first suitcase that can follow you automatically. However, after the project was funded successfully, it went through a serious troubles, including test failures and design flaws. They even came out with another brand new design after a year. Just before everyone gave up the hope, they will finally be able to ship the product. After another series of shipping delays, after two years of waiting, it finally arrived. Features This is a carry-on size suitcase with lots of smart features equipped. Its handle is full of sensors in order to track the object in front of it and the button on the other side will trigger the automatic follow function. The lock can be opened by password, by wristband, or by TSL officers. Inside the suitcase, there are two dividers on both sides. There's also a small pocket for your small stuffs. One of the dividers also has a zippered mesh pocket. The battery is located at the bottom with on and off switch. There are also two motored wheels to move the suitcase. The battery can be easily taken off. It also has its own USB port and battery indicator. The suitcase also comes with a wristband which has basically two functions. First, if we bring it close to the lock, it will unlock the suitcase. When the suitcase is following you, it vibrates in different frequency to remind you it's still following you normally or it has lost you. To start auto following you mode, you just need to stand in front of it and press the button. To retract the wheels and exit the following you mode, you just need to put your hand on the handle. That's easy. Interestingly, the last update also introduced a new function which is remote control. It can move your suitcase like a remote controlled car. The only thing is, I haven't found any situation you want to use this function in real life, especially in front of others. Well, apparently my cat doesn't like it that much. Finally, there are two USB ports that could charge your devices using the same battery that powers this whole suitcase. Another power button is also hidden here. Capacity It is a little bit smaller than a regular suitcase. But man, I think it's quite enough for one person for a short trip. The overall experience was actually quite cool because when it worked, it followed you and everyone just looked very excited, very surprised and they just seemed quite happy about it. So I would say, yeah, it's a very good tool, but sometimes it didn't work. We had some awkward moments that uh, it just stopped working it, or it just lost focus and well, it's not that good. Yep, so let's go to the details of the pros and cons. I'll make a summary of whether you want to buy it or who is this suitcase best for. The best thing about this suitcase is it can follow you. It's super cool and it frees your hands, which is actually very handy in lots of cases. Come on guys, it's already 2018. It has no zippers, making it super easy to open and close. USB charging, 
inside dividers, and its colorful LEDs are all my favorites. Surprisingly, its battery also lasts quite long. Speaking of cons, well, it's not stable. Sometimes the app couldn't connect to the case, sometimes it lost its object. And sometimes it just didn't want to follow. Due to its extra functions, it's smaller than usual suitcase and it's also heavier. Here, I want to say that airlines don't usually check the weight of carry-on suitcase, so it's probably fine. Another thing that annoyed me for the most of the time is it doesn't have any handle to open the case when it's light flat on the floor. My only choice ends up being the wheels. Annoyed. Other than that, the bottom of the case is too low, so sometimes it scratches the ground. It's hard to rest your bag on the trolley. And sometimes the Apple security does need to open your case and double check. Conclusion So firstly, I want to say that I like this suitcase. I will definitely bring it with me for my future trips. It is super cool. It's handy when it works. And most importantly, it's packed with technology. However, there are still lots of things I wish it could do better. Stability is the most important thing for now because it's super annoying in the airport when you stop working in front of so many people. I also really hope the suitcase could follow you on the side instead of behind you. Even with the wristband vibrating on my hand, I still couldn't help looking back frequently to check whether the suitcase was following me correctly or not. Okay, here comes the conclusion. For most of people who only want a strong, very useful, and very big suitcase, well, this is definitely not for you because it's heavier, it's smaller, and most of all, it costs $500. Or if you just expect a super high-tech suitcase that works perfectly every time, can freeze your hand and change your way of travel, then it's probably not best suitcase for you as well because it's not flawless, it fails sometimes, and it's just far enough from perfect. And it still costs you more than $500. So maybe you should wait and give it more time to develop. Then, who is this case suit for? I would say the people who love technology, the, the people who love to try out new things, and the people who are not afraid of failures. I feel this is more like a technology toys other than a real used suitcase because every technology when it comes out, it's not perfect. So if you don't mind the failures and the flaws I mentioned previously, and if you want to try out the coolest features still, then maybe you should buy it. Is it worth to spend more than $500 on it? No, it's not. Even now, I think it's super expensive. Are you regretted for buying it? To be honest, a little bit because of the price. Do you think it is more useful than other suitcase in the market? Not really, at least not at this current state. Maybe it will be better in the future, I guess. Do you like it? Yes, I am tech geek and I like it. Overall, are you going to return it if possible? No, I'm not going to return it. It's mine. Okay guys, thank you for watching it. This is only my personal experience and personal opinions. Hope you find it useful. Bye.